What's going on, everybody? My name is Ben, and welcome back to another episode of the Apollo Group Build here on Sci-Fi Wednesdays. Now, we are back on the USS Kelvin, and I'm really hoping that today we're going to have some success with this fiber optic stuff, because last time it did not go well. Now, we have actually decided to redesign all of my work that I've already done. As you can see, I've not touched anything on the right side. We've just been working on the left side. I have to say, though, that you guys have been a huge help, especially you, Andrew. Thank you so much for all of your tips, tricks, suggestions, and the photos of your Kelvin that you're actually working on. Beautiful job, by the way. Absolutely amazing. But Andrew gave me a wonderful idea of using a candle to go ahead and change shape of the fiber optic cabling. Just by passing it over the top of that heat source, it softens the cabling enough that I can bend that into a beautiful 90 degree angle. So I've done that a couple of places here and there just to test things out. And Andrew, my man, it works like a charm. Thank you so much for the tip. Now, using that along with some other tips and tricks that everyone has been so nice to go ahead and offer up, we're gonna go ahead and redesign the entire idea by putting the light source in the different sections of fiber optic. So what we're going to do is we're going to put one light source in each side of the hangar bay and that side is going to drive all of the fiber optics on that one particular area. Now that of course means we have to strip out all the fiber optics that I've already installed. That's fine. They came out pretty easily and I've created a bundle of fiber optics that should equal the amount of holes that we have and I've wired it up to an LED that I had flattened off the surface of and then I put in a little matchstick here inside to give it a bit of standoff distance. We're going to go ahead and hot glue that in. The wires are all nicely soldered on and we can just fold everything on the inside. You can just string that cable straight down, right down through that neck. And we're only putting two wires per side instead of like 20 fiber optics. So this should, in theory, work beautifully. So what we're going to do first is we're going to queue up a time lapse and I'm going to go ahead and start stringing all the fiber optics. We're going to mount the LED into the hangar bay. We're then going to string up the fiber optics and well, fingers crossed, this works like a charm. So queue up that time lapse. Let's get this thing moving. All right, everybody, so that worked out beautifully, much better. As you can see here, we've got one side that is all nicely laid out with the fiber optics with one LED. We've got the resistor, we've got all the wires nicely heat shrinked so that we don't short out anything. Everything fits through the holes, nothing kinked, nothing's turned. I use a little bit of the bending method that Andrew was so kind to have offered and it worked like a charm. So what we're gonna do now is we have to do the other side. And to do that, we're gonna need to wire up one more LED. We're gonna get that all set up and squared away. Then we're gonna bundle up the fiber optic. We're gonna attach them both together using some heat shrink. And then we'll be able to go ahead and wire up the entire right side as well as the left side. Now, once that's all together, we can then come back and we can test fit them together and make sure that the wires aren't going to interfere with each other. But I'm really keeping them as compact and as sandwiched in there as I possibly can. I've even resorted to using a couple of zip ties just to keep everything Everything nicely cinched down and so far it seems to be working so we're just gonna take a little bit of solder here we're going to solder up our connections for the other light source for the right side of the hull and I'm pretty sure that this is going to do it this is going to work so let's go ahead and just solder this up and get everything set and ready to go now of course the fiber optics have to be very tightly bundled together and the front of the LED the very top of that bulb has to be flat because what we're gonna do is we're gonna press all the fiber optics up against that flat surface of the LED bulb 
that should transmit light through into the fiber optics and illuminate the tips of each of those fiber optics. That's the plan. Now I have enough cabling ready to go for all of the different portholes that we drilled out and we're just going to bundle those together and I'm just going to use some heat shrink tubing for that. Nothing crazy. I might throw a zip tie on there as well just to make sure that they're not going to go anywhere but I really have to make sure that this fits flush against the top of that bulb. We're just going to use some heat shrink tubing to go ahead and keep that bundle of fiber optics all wound up together. And then we're going to take our flattened LED, press that right against the bottom of all of our fiber optics, and then we'll be able to slide that heat shrink tubing over the top of that bulb, heat shrink it down so that it's not going to go anywhere. And then we should be ready to go install that into the right side of the hanger bay and uh, stringer fiber optics. So that should hopefully work well enough. So let's go ahead and just run a couple of passes with my soldering iron to go ahead and really secure that heat shrink tubing down to the bulb and the fiber optics. And that should be pretty much ready to go. We can string it in, glue it down, and uh, <laughs> this is going to be a far better episode than last time. I'll tell you that. We're going to get something done today, guys. Really excited about that. We only have just a couple of weeks, guys. This is actually due, I believe, in um, in July, but we are really down on the wire. And still, we have a lot to do. So hopefully, this works out beautifully. So we have all of our fiber optics and our single LED light source zip-tied and glued down to the right side of the hangar bay. And I honestly say this is a whole lot better than what we were trying to do before. It is really compact in here though. There's not a lot of room for error, but I think this is going to work. And I'm hoping that we can then sandwich both of these halves together and no wires will you know, interfere with the locking pins or we won't have any bulkiness you know, that we may have to kind of squish down even more. I've really, really kind of sucked everything together, zip tied everything down, glued as much as I can with that glue gun. I'm thinking this is gonna work. So let's go ahead and give it a test fit put these two ends together and see what happens. Now, all right, everybody, as you can see, our two halves fit together. All the LEDs and the fiber optics are up inside and well, <laughs> I'm happy. I think it actually will work. So whew, what a load off. Now we have to, of course, also figure out if we can get all the wires down and around through the neck and into the saucer. And we do have that one plastic piece that fits on the back of the neck. Just to make sure that that fits, let's go ahead and grab it real quick. Just hold it up against that part right here. Yeah, see, that's going to work perfectly. None of the wires interfere with the installation of that particular cap, and I think we're pretty decent. So now we're going to go ahead and shift over. we got to make a couple more lighting sources. We have to work on the saucer. Let's go ahead and switch over, make up two more lighting sources, and get to work on the saucer.
And here we go. We've completed our very first run of fiber optics here for the saucer, and it works like a charm, guys. I'm super excited about this. We have our single light source. We have our wires fed right down through into the neck. We've removed some of the supports to kind of give this enough space so we can put down the top of the saucer. We will have to go ahead and thin out a couple extra areas just to make sure that the top of the saucer will fit down evenly. We're looking great, guys. I'm going to do a little bit of work off camera, fill in the other side of the saucer. But until next episode, guys, thank you so much for watching. You know the drill. Go out there, get yourself some bench time, have some fun, build something cool. And we'll see you back here next week on episode number nine for our USS Kelvin. Till then, guys, take it easy, and we'll see you soon.